Aloha, Team Rose is proud to present our third iteration of our URC rover, capable of completing tasks which simulate the real-life missions of Red Planet rovers. Our 53 members have worked strenuously to redesign and upgrade our mechanical, electrical, and software systems to be equipped to complete all of the 2024 URC missions. As an overview of the delivery mission, the team set internal goals to traverse various rough terrains, including traveling up inclines of up to 30 to 40 degrees, overcoming obstacles of about 15 centimeters in height, all while having the capability to uphold the weight of the rover and an additional 5 kilograms. To satisfy these requirements in comparison to the previous year, the motor-to-wheel integration, wheel design, motor selection, and suspension have been completely redesigned to ensure successful completion of the mission. This year, we have redesigned our suspension for strength and ease of operation. Our newly designed four-wheel rocker suspension system incorporates an aluminum frame for lightweight durability, as well as a rear differential bar to traverse uneven terrain. Each brushless drive motor is paired with a planetary gearbox for sufficient torque over inclines. Our newly designed wheel module provides robust support at integration points while protecting the drive motors. 3D printed TPU wheels ensure adequate dampening and traction across an array of surfaces. Within the equipment servicing and delivery missions, various dexterous tasks are required for successful completion. To accomplish these, our robotic arm has been designed with the ability to effectively complete every task. The 5 degree of freedom arm utilizes a 10 to 1 cycloidal gear reduction on the shoulder and elbow joints capable of lifting over five kilograms at the furthest reach. Each joint is integrated with incremental encoders to ensure accurate movements, and the cycloidal gearbox minimizes backlash. For laterally oriented tasks, a separate motor moves a sliding base via a threaded lead screw. A differential gearbox rotates the modular rack and pinion end effector, allowing for object manipulation. The end effectors can be swapped out to collect soil samples in the science mission. To sufficiently power the rover systems, Team Rose utilizes a custom-built 7S8P lithium-iron battery pack sitting at 645 watt-hours. A power distribution board with 12-volt and 5-volt regulators allow for power of logic devices such as the Xavier and our onboard Ethernet switch. In the event of a communication failure or a rogue rover, an emergency switch is attached on the external face of the rover for an operator to quickly disconnect power to all of the rover components. The ground station incorporates a computer and features a robust communication system, comprising of an AirMax 900 MHz antenna, Rocket M900s, and an omnidirectional antenna. The main form of communication will be through the ground station user interface. The UI was developed using React and Node.js, focusing on modularity and ease of use. The UI features a dynamic layout that allows the operator to choose components as needed per mission. The UI also allows the operator to send mission waypoints to the autonomous navigation stack. Additionally, the application is capable of handling the teleoperation of the rover and arm, along with displaying live camera feeds. This year, we upgraded our Z-Mini to a Z2 stereo camera. The Z2 provides relative localization and stereo depth, which is used to compute the traversability of the rover surroundings and allow our pathfinder to pick the safest route towards the goal. Our GPS uses the ZF9R, which provides sub-meter accuracy for the high-precision waypoints in the autonomous navigation mission. The SMASH framework is used to develop a robust state machine capable of completing mission objectives without a human in the loop. We use Arico Detect for our fiducia detection, and our object detection strategy is to use the YOLO trained on a custom data set, leveraging the Tensor RT hardware acceleration capabilities of our Jetson Xavier AGX. Our life detection method will be implementing two stain based chemical assays. For amino acids, we will be using a Kumasi stain, and for nucleic acids, we will be using a Cresol Red and SDS solution. Our payload will feature test tubes filled with the chemical solutions for our arm to directly deposit soil into. Visual changes in the sample will be observed for an indication of the presence of life, where the intensity of the color change corresponds to the concentration of biomolecules distinguishing extinct or extant life. To collect our subsurface cache, we will be using long modular scooper attachments on the end effector, replacing the claw prongs. The use of the long prongs and high torque arm will allow it to collect soil from below 10 centimeters. 